The street meetings of Gan. The street meetings of Gan. Dear God, we've all kinds of ministries around here, but Tyler goes to hell. How many churches do you have in mega churches in Dallas? I guess you can't find one street. I spent 50 years of my life in street meetings. Every Saturday night I went out at 9.30 till midnight and after. Every night, for, whether it was snowing or raining or what, we went out to the same place and people came out of taverns and out of movie houses at 10 o'clock and stayed an hour and two hours in the cold. No air-conditioned buildings. No nice, no attractive singers. Just testament. I, I call her one man said this man was in jail. This man used to run around with women. This man has a prison record. This one over there used to beat his wife in the transfer. This girl was a prostitute and put them out, living flesh and blood. Nobody could argue. People would stand and say, why are you the only preacher in the town does this? I don't know, except God told me to do it and I do it. Well, that's where the lost people are. A man would be an idiot to buy a hundred dollar fishing gear and fish in his bathtub. And that's all we do in church. We're fishing with the same people every week. And people are dying without God. We travel the country, but I walked the length of England, I walked the breadth of England with five college fellows. We slept in fields at night, we slept in churches. We didn't get a penny wage in six months, and nobody ever said a word. Because at night, we'd kneel in the street at 10 and 11 o'clock at night, and people get saved in the street. You don't care a who where you sleep. We slept in sleeping bags for three years. Slept on the floor of churches, anywhere they'd take us in. But we had revival, the churches are still standing today. You know, we're, we are preaching an acceptable gospel today. Make it as painless as we can. And all we do is give people a shot to put them to sleep so they'll get to hell quicker. We need some hellfire preaching on repentance. We need some hellfire preaching on repentance. Father, I pray today that your glory would fall upon this campus, O Lord, and that men and women would be convicted of sin and that they would come unto you for salvation, O Lord. Lord, I pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Anoint me, O Lord, and fill me with your spirit and give me the words that I need to say. Here I am, Friday night of April, right next to Gotham, the club. It's raining, and I'm about to preach. I hope all goes well. Be with me, Father. O Lord, may I reveal all men unto you. May I show all men you and reveal men you.
righteousness, for they shall be filled. Away! Oh, he loves you so much. He was willing to die for you on the cross, to die for our sins. The most precious gift God gave us was his own life. And the, the biggest tragedy of your life would be the day that you reject the gospel. The biggest tragedy of your life will be when you choose death rather than life. God did not send his son, Jesus Christ, into the world to condemn this world, to condemn you. But God sent his son into the world that the world might be saved through him. And we're out here today, not fearing man, but God. Arise! Arise, O oh sleeper! Awake! And let Christ shine his face upon you. Arise! Arise today and awake from the sleep, awake from the spiritual slumber in which many of you are in. Arise, awake. I hear the voice of one cry. To believe in Jesus Christ and to believe in his word. I hear the voice. Of... He was bruised for our iniquity. He was wounded for our transgression. Be reconciled towards God. Be reconciled towards God. I hear the voice. Turn from your sins and your wicked ways and seek after God with all of your heart. Seek after Christ and his suffering on the cross. I hear the voice. Pick up your cross. That Jesus Christ, who was beaten and mocked and scourged and hung on a cross and crucified there. How narrow is the way that leads to life? How narrow? Was by one man. Jesus Christ. And just like someone who's lost on the street, the thing that keeps them back is pride from asking to rest. It's pride that, has, that keeps them. Pride. You must know that you're lost before you can be saved. Saved into the kingdom of God. And we are here to live our lives until the day in which the eastern sky will be broken and he will descend and place his foot on the Mount of Olives and will stand in righteous judgment. The scripture tells us that the preaching of the cross, that the preaching of the gospel is foolishness to those who are perishing. So if it is foolishness to you, Know that God is serving you a that warning, and that warning is that you are approaching. Now, there, now let me say this, there's a thousand roads into hell, but there's not even one road out. And the way to hell has I been paved voice. by our own sin, and it's wide, but narrow is the way that leads to life. And the way to heaven has been I bought the by the blood of Christ. He paved the, he paved the way with his own blood. The blood of the Son of God. Jesus, save me. If you would just simply call upon the name of the Lord, He would come and He would change your life. He'll give you, the Bible says, a new heart and a new mind. The light has come into the world. Jesus, 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 Jesus Christ, the Holy One of Israel.
reaching for a higher high From the young man working through his hopes and fears To the widow walking through the veil of tears Every man and woman, every old and young Every father Street, 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 street.